1DX2 with the 2470. I'm also adding a circular polarizer. Swoosh in. Good morning, Sydney. It is 10.25 in Sydney, Australia. <sighs> I've been sick all day yesterday. I've just been on the couch watching Suits season six. Season six. I'm here with... I did not give my consent. Amelia Morris and my brother... Timothy, look at that cool poster. Anyways, today is going to be a day of packing because tomorrow we are leaving to Hamo, aka Hamilton Island, aka Tropical Paradise that got ravaged by a cyclone a couple of weeks ago, but we're going to be there on a little holiday. Actually, a celebration for Amelia's parents' 30th anniversary, which is going to be lovely. And yeah, today we're going to do some shopping, prepping, packing and all that stuff, so we'll see what happens. The Wall of Gear. And a lot of mess. It is quite messy. So what am I bringing to Hamilton Island? My bag, a remote. I usually just write down what I need and then uh, just fill up the bag from the shelf. I've got, you know, lenses and stuff. I've got, um, what's this? Audio, not really that necessary. Video things. I'm not bringing the drone. So where is it? Usually it's there. It's in that bag. I don't uh, plan on bringing the drone because where we're staying is actually an airport or like the island has an airport, so I don't want to um, break the rules, obviously. Let me uh, let me see what I'm bringing. I've decided what I'm bringing. I'm bringing a decent size tripod, my Frodo 190, the B3, really small. 1DX2 with the 2470. I'm also adding a circular polarizer on there. 1740 for the wider shots. I could bring the 1124, but I don't feel like it because it's too heavy. Another 5D3. A chilled 10 stop ND filter for some low exposures, maybe. Second battery for the 1DX. Memory cards, two remotes. 40mm 2.8, just because I love it so much. And a little microphone. Then also some more batteries for that one. And um, that's pretty much it. Then with that, um, I'll be also bringing some hard drives. So I'll be bringing a 1TB SSD, which is currently offloading footage on another hard drive. And I'll bring a backup hard drive, because if you don't have your footage backed up, you don't have your footage, because all hard drives will fail. That is a fact. Seriously, trust me, if you do not have your footage on two drives, it might as well be gone. So what goes through my mind when trying to figure out what to bring on a trip like this, I realize not everyone has a, a ludicrous amount of gear like I have, which is just something of an addiction that got way out of hand maybe over the years, I don't know. Anyways, I could bring all the cameras and shoot all the footage that I, you know, can, but we're going, a ho going on a holiday, so I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to bring too little that, you know, when there's a banger sunrise or sunset, that I won't be shooting it as efficiently as possible. So over the years, I've figured out what I need. I need a main camera that shoots video, and then I need a second camera just for the time lapses. And then I'm also bringing a GoPro that I didn't show you before, but that's just for the really lightweight, um, low energy trips when we're on a boat or something like that, uh, to still be able to shoot some videos maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously two cameras, you need two tripods, so that's why I'm bringing those. They're quite lightweight, it's so loud here. They're quite lightweight, so that's quite easy. And all of that still fits in the one bag. Now, I think the main issue is going to be with this bag is to get on this Jetstar flight. When I guess, yeah, Jetstar is like a semi-budget airline and they're pretty strict on their um, airline, uh, what do you call it, in-cabin uh, carry-on uh, weight. So, yeah, I'm always kind of panicky about that because sometimes you have to check your carry-on, you have to check it in the uh, normal luggage compartment and that's where your cameras and lenses get broken. So I don't know, I'll be taking out the 1DX with the 2470 because it's the heaviest piece and then maybe carry my laptop under my arm and then have him wait like that or something. I don't know, we'll see that uh, when we're at the airport tomorrow. But uh, yeah, the rest of the day is gonna be um, going, I think, to Bondi Beach and also buying that hard drive to offload footage on. It's obviously always a good idea to format your memory card that's in the camera and then also check out your file numbering because what you don't want is your uh, numbering to overflow pretty much when that when that reaches 9999 9, it'll go on to the next sequence and then if you have any time lapses it'll be split up and you have to rename sequences uh, which is not not the most fun thing to do it is fixable but you know it's just a little bit of prep work like that makes it easy to uh, save you some time in post another thing I do is prep my hard drives or the hard drive that I'll be using uh, I create the project files in the folders where I'll be dumping off all the footage um, beforehand, before I leave for the trip. So when I'm done shooting for the day and I'm tired or confused or my brain's melted from all the all the stuff that I've been doing, all I have to do is just ditch the cards or dump them on the hard drive. Um, I'm currently building a little 
uh, time-lapse cheat sheet with uh, do's and don'ts uh, before shooting or traveling, uh, which will be up for the uh, lovely patrons that have been supporting me on Patreon. Love you guys. Um, and what else can you do before that? Obviously, make sure that uh, you bring enough memory cards and that all your batteries are charged before you go on a trip. You don't want to arrive somewhere and want to start shooting because you see something nice and then realize like, ah, I forgot to charge my batteries or I don't have enough memory cards. So yeah, just set up a little cheat sheet or get the one on uh, Patreon and that'll make your life so much easier. One more thing I want to show you guys because maybe some of you have seen it before or maybe not, but this is the power cube. It's pretty much um, just an extension cord with four plugs and two high power USB ports. I wish it was three or four ports, but this uh, goes with me everywhere. It's just very valuable. Also here are some other things I bring, obviously business cards always spread the word about what you do, um, backup USB cables and stuff, and that's I think the GoPro uh, charging cable. And then in here I have my laptop which is a MacBook 15 inch, the uh, 2015 version, and then of course where did I put it, oh yeah, um, stuff to offload, come on mate, uh, this is a CFast reader at the bottom and a um, SD, micro SD and uh, CF reader at the top that I kind of taped together as a almost everything in one uh, reader. Should this fail, I can also obviously just use the USB 3 port on the side of the 1DX as a backup. There's that backup thing again. So yeah, not just obviously data backups, but also gear backups. So that's why I have two remotes and all these uh, memory cards and obviously offload drives as well and multiple cameras and lenses. Now, the only thing I don't bring obviously is a second computer uh, because, you know, should the worst thing happen and that computer fail, I can still, you know, create stuff on my phone and I'll have time to edit it later on my iMac or my computer at home. Uh, but yeah, if you only have one camera and one camera fails, then you're um, shit out of luck. So, you know, ideally you bring two cameras. Even though you're just going on holiday, um, it is, you know, everywhere you go, everywhere you travel, is usually a once in a lifetime opportunity. You'll, you'll only be there, you'll only be there uh, once, um, maybe in a decade or more. So yeah, it makes sense to try and capture as much and as, as best as you can uh, for that uh, trip, that one opportunity that you're there, pretty much. All the gear is sorted and clothes sorted. Too many. <laughs> Are we there yet? That's all my stuff. Just like this little bit, and that's all Amelia's. <laughs> Alrighty, fam. I think this is going to be it for the video today. I don't have much time left. I still have to go buy the hard drive, but then by the time I get back, I won't have time to edit this. And I want this to go live on Monday morning or Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning if you're from America. Haha, <laughs> time zones. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please drop them in the comments below, obviously. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you hated it, you can give it a thumbs down, because that still boosts my engagement, and thanks for that. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I've made a video about that. If you want to know what post notifications are, that's somewhere in the past uh, video uh, list. <laughs> Also, check out the Patreon for some cool extras if you feel like uh, supporting me for this channel and the knowledge that I've been sharing. Bye! See you later! Um, yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the post credit scene, but I'll see you there. Bye! Okay, post credit scene time. This is my bag. It is a Samsonite Firelight Spinny something. Do not buy this bag because it is, uh, I think I paid five or six hundred dollars and this is what happens. It's like, you know, what should a bag do? Just, you know, have a zipper that closes and if it has wheels, the wheels should stay on the bag, ideally, especially if it's so expensive. So yeah, this piece of shit, you know, going with us on this trip because we need the extra bag, but yeah, do not recommend these Samsonite bags.